Top of the morning to you laddies. Welcome to Far Cry 5. Today we're going to be doing a roleplay with my my boy Tryhard man over here. Hello. Yeah. It's the same dude from Fallout. You know you you know where this is going. <laughs> so you know this going to be good epic commentary. Yes, definitely epic commentary. Epic. Anyway, we're loading in. I want Far Cry 6. I have that pre-ordered. I know. Okay, once I get into... I'm going to fast travel to Holland Valley, because I'm in Hope County. You have to invite County. me first. I know, I'm going to fast travel there first, and then you oh, then I'll... Because, okay. you know... Yeah, uh, we really do need to get back into our... Uh, Oh, Fallout will play. Yes, we do. We also need to uh, continue our Elder Scrolls will play. Yes. I'm pretty sure we're planning on fighting vampires, possibly even coming vampires. I don't know, I don't really want to be a vampire. That's too painful on my neck. <laughs> you know, like it bite you anywhere it doesn't have to be your neck <laughs> don't funny joke <laughs> John's dead <laughs> Hmm, is there like a natural main character where you're, who you play as in Far Cry 6? Yes. Uh, can you choose their gender? I don't know. I don't like games that make you gender locked. You like those or don't like them? I don't like it. I like it also, where they didn't Landon likes gender. playing as a woman, huh? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, I'm inviting you. Cause I can't really. Not. I mean. No. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Horrible so often. Oh, I'm still wearing my deputy uniform. I'll change it when we get shipped out. Okay, we start role playing now. I told. I told you that God wouldn't let you take me. That is not how he sounds. Wh wh why are you trying to sound like Joseph Seed, dude? Uh, I don't know. You could always do a roleplay. <laughs> I mean... Wait. You know what would be cool? Uh, they had a DLC on something. I think it was, uh... Like, a Far Cry 6 beta. No, no, no. They were advertising a DLC where you are the bad guys. Really? That would be cool. That would be cool. Uh, you, one of us could be... Like, where you could actually choose sides. And I would be like... I'd probably end up being the bad guys without wanting to. And you would be the good guys. Or you would really like the good guys' costumes or something. And you'd be the good guys and I'd be the bad guys. Going with the good old M6. Wait, have you... Okay. Grandma, have you ever seen an M16? No. You have? You talking about a jet? No, the gun. I don't know if I have or not. I'm not interested in it. It's what they used in uh, Vietnam. I I know.
They got MP34s? I really want to save for the 45, uh, 70. Mm. Or the MS-16 Trooper. Or an AK. Or an AKM. Should I get a sniper? A sniper? Yeah. Mm, I mean, I was thinking about doing some stealthy things. But it's really up to you. I mean, not yet. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Wait, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, okay, good. <gasps> Holy crap, that was a shotgun to the freaking balls. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh. I may or may not have angered our good old friend. I mean, right <laughs> now I have a. Also, do you have the militia costume? Do you have the militia, militia costume? costume? Yeah. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Clip it. That would be perfect. Yeah, I have a flamethrower. So. We're gonna save this shop right here. That's gonna. This is gonna be the recruitment office. Oh wait, I should change my outfit to something more casual. And so should you. You do not look casual. Freaking. Why would you be wearing a police outfit? Because I'm a deputy sheriff that joins the resistance. Okay. But uh, now I'm gonna change it. Let's see, do I have any casual clothes? Yeah, I actually do. Only one, though. Wow. I get to be the sergeant. Ah, we'll both be leaders. Do you want to be the sergeant or the lieutenant? Mmm. I was thinking we'd both be privates. Oh, I mean, I think we would both be, uh, independent units. What's that called? Oh, I thought you wanted to. Yeah, we'll be privates in the same unit. And now we're yeah. getting... And then over here, we'll get our uniforms and we'll be shipped out. Well, we have to start the roleplay by actually going in here. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, we start now. I'm tired of being hit by these peggies. Me too. It's done a credit change. We're here to join. Yup. Okay, so we just have to go get our clothes from over there, correct? Yep. Let's go. Okay. Mm, you don't have to run. Well, I'm in a hurry. Okay, I'm just gonna. Uh, you see you know where the back is? I want to get changed in front of all these people. Uh, here. <laughs> here, this looks good enough. No one can see me over here. Go to the when you're done. Go to the lady, um, behind the bar. Smells nice. She'll tell us where we're shipping out to. Uh, I heard the militia is actually based in the mountains. Yep. So That's where the commander, or general of the militia is. 
Okay, uh, reporting for duty, ma'am. Alright, you boys go ahead in to the, uh, hang on, let me, into the Henbane River region. Y'all gonna start Ooh. fighting the good fight against Faith. We already got a foothold into their territory. Sounds like, uh, some, uh, some of our forces could use re reinforcements at Nolan's Fly Shop. So head out there now. Yes, ma'am. Oh, fudge, I kicked you. I thought uh, we'd be heading to the White Town Mountains, but as this works, we need a uh, we uh, need to take a car to. Hey, I already have a car parked outside. Do you now? Mm-hmm. Oh, we so, have to take that. I mean, we're not exactly uh, not exactly the U.S. military. Okay, you have it. Okay, if we get promoted, maybe. I mean, so, we have the American flag on our uniform. I would have figured we are at least some something like them. Oh, looks like we got air support. Yeah. Um, we got lucky. Uh, the deputy, you know, the one who actually liberated this place, uh, is friends with Rick Ryan. He, Peggy's. Oh, the red drops turned into us. Sorry, I was texting. Get down, get down. That's air support for you. Yep. Though you probably should call him off. We need to help the other members of the resistance too, you know. You know, we called air support. Okay. Hey, uh, can you mark the nearest uh, helicopter pad? Why? Well, we're going in by helicopter. No, we're not. She didn't say that. I thought we were. I mean, ain't that we what they usually do? Okay. You know what? Why am I going speed limit? Let's hit it. Don't no, tell we're fighting in a war. We're not supposed to go the speed limit, idiot. Oh, don't pester me. I'm not pestering you. I'm sorry. I'm just excited to, you know, kill Peggy's. Yo, they gave me a raw a revolver instead of. Well, they gave me a 44 Magnum instead of the, you know, standard <laughs> Crap, issue in M1911. Uh, yeah. I actually have to pick up my gun. Uh, there's Any one way. right here. Yeah, I just saw it. Just, uh, pull in, uh, do that, and I'll head inside and talk to this outpost commander. See if we can get some reinforcements on the fly shop. Is there with it and equip guns? Where you just have your fist? No, where you just have your... You know what, I'm just gonna assume there is. Oh wait, no, I should actually get like a... Cab. Solid black, actually. Yeah. They probably wouldn't, they probably wouldn't supply me with us anything special attachments. Let's see, they would also give me a regular pistol. Should I switch to the standard issue pistol? Um... Uh, P... Do you have the P226? The P226? No. I mean, two... Oh. Uh, okay, I guess we can use the 191. I mean, one... The 1911? Yeah, the 1911. Sorry. Casually gets passionately for. I mean, um. Yo, so they gave me an M16 and a flamethrower. The flamethrower doesn't make any sense. You're right. I'll just put a sniper there just in case. 
No, an MG, and uh, yeah, an MG. Cause I'm the heavy weapons. Okay. If you're ready, I am. Give me a sec. They also gave me a shotgun. I have to pick that up. If they were thinking about giving me a bow. Too bad. Better bows. Looks like I'm getting my shotgun, though. Yeah, I have an M16, an, MG, an M60V, an ARC, and a 1911. Okay. Let's go. You're so picky these days. You know, I can't wait. Uh, if we were able to get moved into the White Hill Mountains, maybe we can talk to the general. We can give us a promotion. We can get a promotion from a lieutenant. Yeah. Once, once we conquer the Henbane River, we're gonna. We're gonna start moving into the White Tail Mountains. Hey, so I'm thinking we can come up here, uh, silent, scope it out before we charge in. Like, we're not going in silent completely because we don't have any suppressed weapons, but, like, you know, scope it out before we hit. There's only two of us. You know, it's stupid Plus that. Plus, we new. have air support. Yeah. It's kind of stupid how they decided to, uh,. The f what are you doing? Sorry. Kind of stupid how they decided to put us in this squad and send us after a freaking outpost completely alone. I can't wait till we can just. Until we take down that massive statue of Joseph. Hmm. Yeah. Who prisoner van? <laughs> We're being hit. Don't move. We'll take him out. There's prisoners in this van. Here, I cover it. Go for the prisoners. I got them. Let me talk to this that. person. Hey. Oh, hey. We did a mission. I uh, found to our new car. We also now have a new outpost we can conquer. Yeah, but we shouldn't be going rogue. Like, if we uh, we need a permission. For if we if there. we do our jobs too well, that's rogue. Just kidding. No, but it's best to uh, follow orders. You know. Okay, I'm gonna look at this at the map. Hey. So I'm saying we stop about Peggy's here and then we'll move through the tr really dude you couldn't just keep said, driving they got the freaking roadblock yeah the road's so blocked watch out fudge they could have told us another outpost are you dead no where are you Peggy truck showing up. Another Peggy truck. Don't waste explosives. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> you know what? This. I'm leaving without you. Uh, don't, don't be like you this. Over. Don't be like this. Get in the car. 
I say we stop about a few feet. Oh, crap. Don't worry about babies. it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. They'll just drive away. That's a cargo truck. I, th I'm th I think we should stop a few feet out, move in through the trees. Well, I mean, uh, about a thousand feet out, <laughs> move in through the trees. Wait, did you see that hairless person? Yeah. Is, is that? That's, those were angels. I've never been over here. I've only ever been in Holland Valley. This is the first time. How do you know what an angel is? Well, because this is the part of Pope County I lived in. It's crazy. I used to live at the Moonflower Trailer Park. Mm. Then I moved down to over to Holland Valley with my brother Nick. Hey, 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 hey. We have a uh, helicopter. And oh, it has hang on. on us. Hang on. Hello? By yourself? No. 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 I'm busy. No out. And all you care about is Brooklyn. No goodbye. See that lag? Oh, wait, are you there? Dude, did you see that <laughs> car? I did see that lag, Landon. It was epic. <laughs> is that Dawson? This is to yeah, I'm totally on the phone with Dawson right now. I can do a Dawson Oh no, I hear the, I hear the girl voice now. Yeah. Epic. That wouldn't have to be wrong. I didn't insult you, I said epic. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, are we still role-playing? Dude, wait, wait. Well, I'm on the phone right now, so I would assume no. She's dead. I mean, should we not hit this say, place until you're done with the phone? Did you, say, did you say Himalayan? Yes, I said Himalayan. Okay, I don't want to hit this place until you're off the phone so we can actually okay. go play. Okay, Landon, so I'll just end this live stream then. I mean, I can always just, you know, hang up the phone and you can do, like, whatever. No, it's fine, I can talk to you.